The role of the IFA is tremendously, tremendously important. Um, we are still working hard to raise awareness about the challenges and needs of LGBTQI older adults, and IFA has provided tremendous leadership in terms of helping to raise that awareness. We launched an international call to action on behalf of LGBTQI older adults. That call to action is framed around universal principles and universal rights that we all can recognize are important for elders. What the pledge asks NGOs, for example, to do is make a commitment to respect the human rights of LGBTQI older adults by pledging not to discriminate against them, by pledging to treat them fairly, treat them respectfully, by respecting their right to privacy and their right to um, sexual intimacy, by respecting their right to autonomy, by guaranteeing and offering what we call culturally competent services, services that are crafted by taking into account the particular needs and experiences of LGBTQI people, by creating opportunities for uh, for interconnection among LGBTQI people of different generations. So the pledge has a whole series of steps like that, that governmental agencies, that NGOs, that care providers, that individual leaders can take in order to make a contribution. And we are already seeing forward-looking um, companies in the elder care space, forward-looking pharmaceutical companies, forward-looking banks, uh, forward-looking long-term care entrepreneurs recognizing that this is a significant elder population whose needs have not been met and this is a significant base of consumers who are looking for LGBTQI friendly providers and products.